pag-usapan natin ang chapter 1 to chapter 5 ng quantitative at qualitative research. This chapter 1, nandiyan ang introduction, background of the study, theoretical framework, conceptual framework, and then yung research paradigm, operational framework, or kung paano mo gagamitin yung teorya dun sa study mo. Atin yung statement of the problem. And then under the statement of the problem, nandiyan ang research questions. Research questions, yung assumption of the study, o hypothesis naman na ginagamit sa correlation. And we have the scope and delimitation, significance of the study, na definition of terms. Chapter 2 naman, review of related literature. Meron gumagamit ng uh, local, tapos foreign data, naman ginagamit thematic. Ibig sabihin, magkakakasama na po doon yung mga literatura base sa thoughts at idea na sinabi ng mga proponents. Synthesis of the review of literature. Yung sinakasummary of related literature natin. Dito tayong gaps bridge by the present study o yung mga hindi napapag-usapan doon sa literatura na isinulat mo kasama na doon syempre yung title mo kasi yun nga yung nagpapabago o kaya nga gaps bridge methodology nandiyan yung research design iterative and quantitative sa PR1 saka sa PR2 sa qualitative yung case study phenomenology narrative ethnography and grounded theory quantitative naman nandiyan naman yung descriptive experimental correlation Comparative analysis, sources of data. Meron tayong primary sources and secondary sources. Natin is participants of the study, sampling ng population. Kaya meron tayong random sampling, stratified sampling, tayong purposive sampling. Next, data gathering procedure. Paano mo kukunin yung data? Instrumentation and validation, evaluation and scoring, statistical treatment depende sa research design na gagamitin mo. Thematic analysis o coding. Chapter 4. Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data. Quali naman, result and discussion yan. Chapter 5, Summary, Conclusion, and Recommendation. 